man. Really? That's so? Well, I mean, I eat these bars because they're pretty good, you know? We all can't have high metabolism and thunder running through our veins. Well, I know you got a little bit chubby and stuff eating all that rare candy, but you really can't help it, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta have a kind, kind bar, you know? Well, I know, I know. Well, you gotta do what's best for you, you know? Instead of eating thunder rats, just have a kind bar. Oh, I mo motivated you to lose weight, Pika? Pound, pound, pound. Oh, hey everybody, <laughs> it's your boy Everything TV. It's coming at you with another banging video. We were just having a talk with Pikachu. And Pikachu was saying that, you know, she's been watching me the last couple days and she wants to get in on the action. This is a girl, Pikachu, by the way. Girl, detective the Pikachu. So yeah, Pikachu, let them know what, you, what you're thinking about. Uh, uh, she's really, she shakes she to whisper. She wants to let everybody know that you guys can't do it if you keep trying. She was never a strong Pika until she kept working at it. And she's a little bit on the chubbier side because she hasn't been really in much Poke Battle. She's just been sitting around here eating shit. Okay, but yeah. So, here, I'm going to leave this for you, Pika. So, guys, um, today is day seven um, for me. Day six for you guys. Um, so, I guess I can... Well, we're going to do a weigh-in today. We're going to weigh ourselves today. And uh, today is day six, though. Um, yesterday was a great day for me. Um... I feel like I'm really coming into my own. Um, the first week is done. I feel like I'm really coming into my my zone. Um, yesterday was a very good day. I mean, eating wise, um, workout wise, the overall general feeling of everything was was really good, and um, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, if you guys are on your day six or whatever day you're on your journey and you just started, man, it, it does get better. I've been feeling really, 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 really positive and really good. Um, and I and I want to just point out, Pikachu, can I borrow this? Okay. I do want to point out that these these bars, um, once again, I'm not endorsed by this company at all, but these kind bars are very, very good. They're helping me um, a lot with my uh my cravings and just my snacking instead of like back in the day i would snack and go to like i say back in my day but like two weeks ago a week ago i would go in my pantry and get a bowl of doritos or, or, or an ice cream cone or something that obviously ain't good with the soda but these bars like you gotta when you're working out and doing these kinds of things you have to enjoy the little things you know what i'm saying like you have to enjoy the rewards that you do get to offer yourself and these kind bars are a reward for me but they don't they don't taste bad you know what i'm saying it's not they're really good and they're good for you um total fat is 13 grams saturated fat is 18 grams trans fat is zero you know um monosaturated fat seven grams um Polyunsaturated fat is 2 grams, cholesterol is 0, sodium is 35, which is 2%, 8 grams of protein, this little bar pack, which is amazing, um, sugar, alcohol is 0, total sugar is 9 grams, including 8 grams of added sugar, so it's 16%, fiber is 3 fibers, vitamin D 0%, calcium 2%, iron 6%, potassium 4%. Uh, peanut, glucose, syrup, almonds, honey, sugar, soy, protein, isolate, palm kettle oil, peanut butter, sea salt, unsweetened chocolate, um, alkalized cocoa, starch, carny root fiber, soy lithicate, sea salt, natural flavor, cocoa butter. Which is just really good. Um, it really is just good. Um, and I've bought them by the boatload. It's gluten free as well. Do the kind things to your body, your taste buds, and your world. 52% nuts, gluten free, low uh, glycemic index, dairy free, no, gly no genetically engineered ingredients, no sugar, alcohols, very low sodium, zero trans fat, 
good source of protein, good source of fiber. Made in the USA with, domesti with domesticated and imported ingredients. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a good product. It really is a very, very good product. Um, it's been helping me with my cravings a lot. And that's just something that I recommend. Oh, my bad, Pika. Pika's like, give it back to me. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, also, shout out to my boy Super Chicken Pokemon for giving me the idea. Not physically telling me, but just giving me the idea to involve Pikachu in our skit. But um, yeah, you know, um, I've been feeling really good. We've made it through our first week, which is the most important thing. So let's go over what I have for breakfast. Of course, I'm slimming down on my breakfast a lot. I know it's the most important meal of the day, but... Um, you, you, you could have something as little as a kind bar and it will do the justice, do the job, you know, it'll fill you up and get you going. So I had me a kind bar, um, had me a kind bar. Then for lunch, what I did was I made me some asparagus, which has been my best friend. I don't know. I just love asparagus. It's, it's really good. Uh, I made me some kale. We, we had a dab with our first time of kale yesterday. So what I did was I put the chicken in a, in a pan, a deep dish pan, and I kind of cooked the chicken with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of water, and I and I let the chicken, you know, with my garlic herbs and all that stuff with some sriracha uh, herb in there as well, which gave it that heat. And I covered, I put this kale on top. So I covered the lid and let that all just cook there for about 30, 40 minutes. Then we uh, went ahead and had some brown rice on the side of it. We cooked up brown rice and, of course, of our asparagus. Uh, the way I'm looking at my, my plates from now on, well, since I started this, is little bit of a little bit of meat because there's something called the polio diet. I think it's a polio caveman diet or something like that. Where you use a little bit of meat, and everything or else, everything around you is vegetables or fruits, because they they ate more vegetables and fruits than they did meat. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm using a little bit of meat and substituting with a lot of low calorie food, which is the vegetables and the fruits. Um, so that's what my plate looked like. It was it was really really good though. It was uh, it was chicken with kale and asparagus and with the sriracha that gave that chicken that natural spice, and it was. Very, very, very good. I mean, it it heated my body up too. There's nothing wrong with eating spicy food when you're when you're on dieting. It actually speeds up the metabolism, gives you energy. It's in it's like a work. It, it pretty much essentially pr promotes a workout in itself, right? Because you're sweating, your heart rate is elevated, and it clears up arteries and, and plaque. And it does a lot of good stuff. Spicy food does. So as long as you're eating it correctly, obviously, if you're eating, you know, spicy you know fried chicken wings it's not good but if you can find a way to incorporate it like peppers hot peppers habaneros jalapenos things like that in your diet then that's obviously better um so that's what i ate for lunch and the good thing about me what i'm doing is i'm making enough for lunch and dinner so i don't have to question what i'm doing for dinner dinner is ready to go so that's that and uh it was good very very good uh we ran on the treadmill again last night for about two hours and this time we killed it. Um, we actually ran, we beat our previous record of four miles even in two hours. And we did 4.3 miles in two hours yesterday, which was a record. And I made it through it really well. Uh, the first day I did the treadmill for two hours, it was very, very tough. Um, I made it, I cramped up, I, I got pains, but it was, it, was, it, was, it was done. We did it like I did it the first day. But the second day I breathed through it a lot faster <clears throat> and... I wasn't as sore the next day, but I was t I'm tired, obviously, but not sore. We really just breezed through it, which was which was amazing for me. Uh, I was actually really excited to to be able to do that, and we hit a new milestone and and uh, miles, which was pretty neat. I'm actually really happy about that. So that was that, and um, we, we showered and went to bed. You know, I want to say thank you again to everybody who comes out during the live streams and shows that love and support. I mean, we really, we really, really, really. really really had fun last night um, which is great so but we very much so had a uh, had a good time uh, and you know now that our first week is in the bag we brought out the scale and uh, remember we were 289.98 pounds so almost 260 pounds um, which is obviously a big difference uh, I'm going to estimate that I am hopefully, sorry about that, hopefully that I'm going to be 
under 280. It's ambitious. It's a little bit ambitious, but any obviously the first week you shouldn't expect too much. Anything one to two pounds is a success. If you lose one to two pounds of true fat that week, then that's a success because your body, my body is more than likely losing a lot of water weight, a lot of fat around the liver, a lot of fat around there. So that's that's what we're expecting. So I'm expecting maybe two pounds, three pounds, you know. And we'll see how that goes. But scales here, uh, I'll have my lovely assistant face the scale so I can get undressed. You have to unclip it or just point it down from the top part right there. Yep. So she's going to get the scale out for you guys so you can see that. And uh, we're going to see how much we weigh. Just point it down. Bend it down. Yep, there you go. All right. Perfect. So I'm going to do it this way so that you guys can see. Let me take the trousers off. And then she's going to, when I'm done, she'll bring it right to you guys so that you guys can see what the weight is. So let me go ahead and uh, get on this bad boy. Let's clear it up. So here we go, guys. Let's see what we weigh. 282.6 pounds. Let's get a close-up on that for you guys. Get you guys to see that close-up. Two hundred. Oh, it went away. Here, I'll do it again. Here, it